How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here checking out these today. The good people from Tiny Arcade sent over a small collection of these miniature arcade machines. Um, there's a couple of new ones. There's also some already great ones that are already available right now. But we're going to check them out in this video. I have a total of five I'm going to show you. Four of these and then one little pocket handheld thing uh, that I think you're going to dig. So we'll uh, go through this in this video. And if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. I do at least two videos a week. I'm a huge old school gamer. Make sure you're subscribed. There's always something new coming up. These are the things I see in stores all the time. And I'm always a little weary about them. I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, they look cool and everything, but like at the at the end of the day, are they good? Are they <laughs> are they worth anything? So I'm looking forward to trying these in this video, and you'll uh, be able to come up with that answer for yourself. It runs on three AA batteries, and it's also a keychain, so you can actually put this on your keychain and have a kind of workable arcade machine. That's kind of fun. Interesting to point out too that there was an error in the side panel here. It did no one's fault really, uh, but the actress playing April O'Neil, who plays the single news reporter, well. She's married, and she's still wearing her wedding ring. Uh, they left that in, which I think is actually kind of cool. With five of them to check out in this video, we're going to start with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine. I mean, it's already right here. So when you turn this on, here's what it sounds like, and here's what it looks like. So it gives you a few options, like you can turn background music on or off. You can have a sound effects on or off. You can also up the volume. I'm going to up the volume a little bit just so you can hear it a little bit better. And let's see what we can do. You can already tell, you can already hear. It's not the theme song. They probably didn't get the licensing rights for the theme song. You have these buttons here. This is attack this way and jump that way. And the other button is to attack behind you. Oh. And jump behind you. <laughs> like jump forward, jump back, attack forward, attack back. And there are three stages as it showed on the front of the box there. That's what happens when you die. All right, let's check out some of the other ones. Another favorite of mine, Mappy. Love this game. And you know what? It's missing a little frame of animation here and there. It's a little choppy, but it's Mappy. It's hard to play at this weird angle that I'm playing it on right now. <laughs> Next one. Oh, I'm, I'm booking. I move faster. Uh oh. What happened? <laughs> I was like, I move faster than I usually do in this game. I'm not supposed to go all the way over there. All right, one more time here. So for, the, you know, games like this, this one's actually pretty good. This one actually controls really well. It does that weird thing where you go off the edge, which you're not really supposed to do, but, you know, all things considered. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, let's uh, give it a shot here. Oh, my. <laughs> an interesting setup here like it's just it's a pac-man hack but it has that hello kitty uh theme to it i guess oh my yeah this is this is interesting to say the least all right 
Now this one's a little different from the others. This is the Frogger Micro Arcade. You can see it's super slim, has power, and the other switch is for volume off and on, and it does use a micro USB to uh, to charge, and it comes with like the smallest little, you know, like six inch uh, little micro USB thing to make this work. And um, I'm a huge fan of Frogger. Frogger is one of my favorite games of all time. A lot of fond memories playing this. And this one already, the way it's loading up, looks like it might be pretty much legit to the arcade here. Okay, so it's, again, missing the music. But you really don't need the music for, for this game here. I'm so used to playing this in the arcade, it's actually weird playing it on a D-pad. All right, so this one still has its issues. But it's, oh, that's my own fault. But it's still Frogger. There we go. Huh. So, I mean, you know, just need your quick Frogger fix. I mean, if you have a thick wallet, it might actually fit in there. <laughs> Keep it in the inside jacket pocket or something like that. Well, interesting enough. And there were so many great arcade games back in the day, especially in the 80s and 90s. So if you haven't checked it out yet, check out this video full of some great arcade games that you may have missed out on. I'm going to showcase those in this video. And then check out some of these other videos as well while you're sticking around. Because, man, I appreciate you and everything you do. We're going to see you very, very soon.